pray this morning so that we open our new way. Father, we thank you because you are holy, you are worthy, you are righteous. Thank you for your presence this morning. Thank you for sound sleep. Thank you for sweet dreams. Have your way at this moment. Tell full supremacy. Use me greatly to reach the souls of your people. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's open our Monday. Let's open our Monday. Let's open our Monday. I bless your Monday. I command your week to be blessed. Let's open our week. I bless your Monday. I bless your Tuesday. I bless your Wednesday. I bless your Thursday. I bless your Friday. I bless your Saturday. I bless your Sunday. Beginning from today, you will have a good week. You will have a favorable week. You will have a sweet week. Everything about this week will favor you. We are others for this week, you will not fail. What did not favor others this week will favor you. Doors of blessings will open for you this week. Doors of breakthrough will open for you this week. What you could not gather last week, you will gather this week. Things you could not lay your hands on. Last week, you will lay your hands on them this week. Things that your, that your grace could not carry last week, receive a new grace this week to carry it. I pray for you as the month ends today. Let the challenges of the life end today. As the month ends today, I end the old chapter of our lives today. As the month ends today, I pray with you and I pray for you that everything that made you think that made you think more than you're supposed to think, anything that I've given you a, a thought today, Jehovah is ratifying it. I pray with you, no power will carry over with you. I pray with you, no altar will carry over with you. I pray with you, no sickness will carry over with you. I pray with you, no challenges will carry over with you. I pray with you as the moons end today. I end sickness. I end challenges. May Jehovah end setback. May Jehovah end failure. May Jehovah end challenges. In the name of Jesus. I pray with you. The greater grace will follow you. Favor will speak for you. You will not fail where others fell. Divine miracle shall be your portion. Divine testimony shall be your portion. You will live to testify all the days of your life. Have a favorable week. Have a testimonial week. Congratulations for this week will favor you. Congratulations for challenges have ended today. Congratulations for testimonies already knocking at your door. Congratulations. You are blessed. Without wasting much time, um, I will be reading from the book of First Samuel. First Samuel chapter 17 1 Samuel 17 because of my time I will read from verse 26 but I'm supposed to read them from verse 23 so if I'm preaching I'll be preaching from verse 23 
But I'm reading from verse 26 now. Then David speak to men who stood by him, saying, What shall be done for the man who killed this Philistine? And he takes away the reproach from Israel. For who is that uncircumcised Philistine that, has, that he should deny the armies of the living God? Verse 27. And the people answered him in the same manner, saying, So shall it be done for that man who killed him. 28. Now Eliab, his eldest brother, heard when he spoke to the man, and Eliab anger was arose against David, and he said, Who did you come? Why did you come down here? And with whom have you left those few sheep in their warmness? And I and your pride and your excellence of your heart. For you have come down to see the battle. Verse 29. And David said, What have I done now? Look, what have I done now? What have I done now? Is there any cause for this? Then he turned from him towards another man, said the same thing. And those people answered him as the first people have answered. Hallelujah. 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 Um, I read from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17 and, and I will be preaching on a topic that said, don't tell me that. Help me, help me, help me tell somebody, don't tell me that. <laughs> somebody will say, what kind of topic is this? You understand it better. When I say don't tell me that, I'm trying to tell you it's time to confront your confrontations. When I say don't tell me that, it's time to confront that, that voice you always hear. You know, there are some people, sometimes you will hear a voice that will ask you, are you sure you will make it? Sometimes you will hear a voice that will ask you, are you sure you can survive? Sometimes when you are sick, you will hear a voice that will tell you, are you sure you are not going to die? When such voice comes, remember the topic of today, don't tell me that. When discourage has come answer them don't tell me that when that man will come and tell you are you sure you can fight are you sure you can read this course help me tell that person don't tell me that when doctor said that that sickness cannot be healed help me tell that doctor don't tell me that when the, doc when the doctor will say that your womb can no longer carry a baby help me tell that doctor don't tell me that when that voice will come are you sure you can survive in this country are you sure you can survive in this city help me tell that country help me tell that person don't tell me that hear me hear me when Jehovah is leading you to your destiny my dear when God is leading you to your destiny you don't need any other man to distract you so when the distractors will come tell them don't tell me that when they will ask you, you better withdraw that you can't make it. Tell them, don't tell me that. When the voice will come to ask you, are you sure you won't die? Tell them, don't tell me that. When they will ask you, are you sure you can go? Tell them, yes, I can go. When they will try to discourage you, tell them, don't tell me that. When they will ask you, what if you die? Rebuke them immediately. Tell them, don't tell me that. When they will tell you you can't make it, rebook them and tell them, don't tell me that. When they will say you can't be great like them, my dear, open your mouth and tell them, don't tell me that. That's why I use this music that said, I'm the one, you have shown me mercy, you look beyond me. That is the words of that song. So what am I trying to say? It's time to tell your enemies, don't tell me that. It's time to tell the manipulation that is after you, don't tell me that. It's time to tell the occultic men, don't tell me that. It's time to tell incantations, don't tell me that. It's time to tell manipulations, don't tell me that. It's time to tell setback, don't tell me that. It's time to tell manipulations, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Again, tell that person. Don't tell me that again. Ma Libra is koto Libra in the name. When they will ask you, are you sure you can be a governor? Obaka kija za governor. Aka kija za senator. Aka kija a... Tell that person, don't tell me that. Tell that person, hold your peace. Tell that person, keep it to yourself. Tell that person, I have heard. Hear me? If you tell that person, don't tell me that, and they didn't understand, tell them, keep it to themselves. If they don't understand, tell them, I have heard. If they don't understand, tell them, thank you, and go your way. If they don't understand, tell them, 
is not for me that question tell them the answer of that question is not for me please help me tell them are you talking to me so when they will come to discourage you when their strange voice will come please help me and tell that voice are you talking to me don't tell me that are you talking to me don't tell me that are you talking to me thank you are you talking to me i have heard are you talking to me thank you are you talking to me is that question for me help me tell that ask that person that day is that question for me when they will say you can make it just rebook them and tell them no problems and go your way just tell them who just tell them I know who I am just tell them my case is different just tell them I'm different from you when that man will come to discourage you tell that man that you are different from that man when that man to, will come to discourage you tell that person my case is different from your case when that person will say I tried and fell tell that person I'm not you you are not me and you can't be me when that person will come to tell you that take that person talk to you later try to rebook that person walk out from that person walk out from that voice when the voice it comes Tell that person that question is not for me. Tell that person I don't have an answer to that question because you know where you are going. When that person will come, help me ask that voice, what do you mean? Help me tell that person, who are you? Help me tell that person, who are you talking to? Tell, help me tell that person, I'm coming. Help me tell that person, see you later. Libra is koto in the labo. That is my topic this morning. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Look at where we read from the Bible. Bible said there is a man called Eli, and that is the elder brother. The, 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 that is the elder brother, uh, the elder brother to um, the elder brother to David. Look at what Bible said. If you read from verse 23, I want you to understand that place better and help and better. Bible said there is a man called David, and there is his elder brother called Eli, and his father is involved in this game, but, but I'm only interested in the story of three, persons, three categories of people. The men that David asked questions. In four categories of people, the men that, that David asked questions, the, the, the Goliath himself. And and uh, and Eliab, his brother, and the message that Aaron, his father, sent to him. Now I want you to understand something here. Had it been that his father did not send him, he wouldn't have get to where he would have had his victory. So sometimes some of the experience we are having is a preparing for sampling. Some of the challenges we are having, my dear, that is a preparation for for you to be a, 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 a for you to be. A model, a model. You know that, that is a preparation for you to get to the top. That is a preparation. Let me use the word. That is a road to your destiny. That is a road to your victory. So no matter what you are passing through, I believe you are on the road to your victory. Because had it been that his father didn't send him there, he wouldn't have met where his introduction comes. So sometimes some of the experiences we are having, my dear, is meant for our introductions. Some of the challenges we are having is meant for our connections. Some of the the challenges we are having is meant for our definition. Some of the challenges we are having is meant for our greatness. Some of the challenges we are having is a preparation for the governorship you are looking for. It's a preparation for the for the TDJs you want to be. It's a preparation for the Lukoya you want to be. It's a preparation for Benny Hill you want to be. It's a preparation for Bunky you want to be. It's a preparation of new generation Dangote you want to be. It's a preparation uh, of Tony and many you want to be. It's a preparation of many men that you want to look like. It's a preparation of great men Obama you want to be. It's a preparation uh, of Trump you want to be. It's a preparation of the senator, the president, the governor, the, the PAMSEC, the head of service you want to be. That is a preparation of it. Because had it been that the father didn't set him that error, he wouldn't have get to where he's going. So hear me and hear me clear. I don't really know what the enemy is prepared. But look at what the Bible look at what the Bible said. And his father sent him that error. Hear me and hear me. When God wants to bless you, he orders the steps of a righteous. When God wants to bless you, he engages you on a journey. When God wants to bless you, He engages you on a He engages you on a, 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 on a movement. When God wants to bless you, He engages you in a game that you definitely win. When God wants to bless you, He will send a man that will sandpaper you. He will send a man that will train you. That man may train you by peace. That man may train you by pieces by prayers. But yet, at the end of the day, you will live to be showcased. Remember, God did not promise us a self journey, but He promised us a self landing. That's simply means that no matter how hard the road might be, but definitely I will land you 
you safely because Bible said and his father called him son come I want you to go and deliver food for your brother he sent him on this one with a good temperament you know some send their own on let me use the word in an angry temperament but even as that don't complain that is what God is some preparing you to be because because Joseph said you people showed me you made it for bad but the Lord have turned it for good I don't know what they made for bad against you but after this message my Jehovah will turn it for good after preaching this morning my papa will turn it to your favor. I don't know what they meant for your bad, but Jehovah have, will turn it to your good. You will not end as they wish. You will never stop where they want. Their voice cannot be supersede your voice. Their voice cannot stop you. Ma lebra in the lebo shalebra in the lebo escoto lebra in danya. Le baba sunda ya kalebra escoto. Ma lebra escoto nanania in the lebo sha. Le baba in the lebo escoto lebra in danania. Le baba sunda ya kalebra escoto. Libra in the Bosha, Male Baba in the Rebo Escoto, Zanana in Dania in the Bosha, Libra Escoto Libra. Now look at what happened. Bible said, and his father sent him. I don't know the spirits you are having. I pray with you. You are some preparing in that level that is expiring today because the month is the month is ending today. I pray with you. You are getting over your challenges. You are graduating from your challenges. You are graduating from that problem. You are graduating from that challenges. As the month is ending today, let that challenges end. As new month is beginning tomorrow, let your testimony begin. Let your showcasing begin. Let heaven introduce you. Let heaven showcase you. Let heaven connect you in the name of Jesus. Look at in verse 23. Let's not start in verse 23 because that is where I really want to preach. Because Bible said, if you read verse 23, that is what Bible said. Bible said, when David brought the food to his brothers and he overheard the men discussing what is going to be the award of the man that conquers. So look at where the mind is. What they are discussing. It's what the award of the man that conquers it. But David overheard them. Hear me and hear me clear. Let me remind you something. If you have not heard your uncle threaten you, you might have heard the story how he threatened others. If you have not seen your uncle manipulating you, you have heard how he manipulated others. That's why you need to confront that manipulation. If you have not heard them manipulating you, you have heard it, you have, might have seen so you might have dreamt some someday, you might have heard a prophecy about how evil men is operating. So when you said my uncle have not showed himself fully that he is the one after me. Haven't you heard how uncles can stop somebody? Haven't you heard how they can manipulate somebody? You have to sit up and tell them, don't tell you that. Every manipulation of an uncle, you have to wake up and tell them, don't tell me that. Bible said it. And, and David heard. If you haven't heard, you might have seen. If you haven't seen, you might have suspected that that man is the one behind your challenges. You might have suspected that that fellow politician, that fellow brother, might be the one stopping you. It's time to sit up in prayers. It's time to tell their manipulations. Don't tell me that. It's time to tell their gossiper. They goss their gossip. Don't tell me that. How can you tell people's gossip? Don't tell me that. By telling yourself, I must make it. How can you tell a manipulation? Don't tell me that by sitting up in the morning and the midnight to tell God I end the challenges of men against my life. Look at what he did. Bible said he heard. Because I know if you haven't heard, you might have seen, you might have suspected, you might have, you might have, you, 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 you have been calm for a long time. It's no longer time to be calm. You might have heard it by message, you might have heard it by dream. Why are you quiet over manipulations? You know that uncle is bad. You know that brother is bad. Yet you keep quiet. You keep saying, what do I do to him? You keep asking, what will I do? You keep running away. This is not time to run away. It's better to start a fight a battle you must fight in life than to run away and fight you tomorrow. So I pray with you, any man that has been a challenge over your life and destiny, over your ministry, I pray with you today, may heaven end that battle for you in the name of Jesus. And in agreement prayer now, every challenge of your life, don't tell me that. Every manipulation, every strange voice, don't tell me that. Every medical report, don't tell me that. Every voice that says you can't make it, don't tell me that. Tell them that victory is yours. Look at what verse 24 said. Malebra Escoto Libra in the Bible said, as the men were, we are talking, 
And David came to them and asked them a question. What will be offered to the man who killed this man? Bible said, and they answered him this. They answered him this. At the process of answering him, look at what happened. His brother overheard it. And they answered him this. What did they answer him? They tell him, any man that conquered this man, number one, they ran away. When they saw the man, they ran away. They were terribly afraid. But David refused to run away. He stand, he stood still. Now, look at what they answered David. They said to him, any man that conquers this man, the king will give him the daughter to marry. The king will give him riches. The king will give him wealth. The king will give him wealth. Now, they, they, look at what happened here. When he asked them, Bible said, and his brother rebuked him. And the brothers heard about it. I want you to understand something here. This man told David, the man will marry, king will give the person his wife uh, and his daughter to marry. King will give the person riches and wealth. That simply means those men came to fight for wealth. Your, your, your motive towards something determine where grace will take you to. Hear me again. Your motive towards ministry determine determine where destiny will take you to. Your motive towards anything determine where grace will land you. Your motive towards everything determines where grace will land you. Look at the motive of this man. The motive of the men that came to fight for the city of David. They came to fight in order to win money, in order to win riches, in order to win the daughter of the king, for, in order to win wives. That is the daughter of the king. Your motive determines where grace is taking you. Your motive determines where grace is taking you. And when you have a wrong motive towards something, you will miss the direct access to it. When you have the, the, the good motive, you will now have the, the easy access to that testimony. And look at another thing that happens. When you have a wrong motive, you will miss the, you, you will miss the right source. Not only missing the right source, you will also lose what you are not meant to lose when you follow the right source. Because there their motive here is for elderly wealth. Their motive here is for their personal satisfaction. Their motive here is to enrich themselves. Their motive here is to marry a good wife, is to get wealth. There are people, when they are dealing with others, they have a wrong motive, yet they laugh with you. They deal with you based on what they will get from you. They deal with you based on how they will drop they, they, based on how they will scatter you. They will come to you as a good friend. They will come to you as a good as a good colleague. They will come to you as a good friend. They will come to you as a good colleague. But at the end of the day, they end up scattering you with their works, with their, with their comments. They end up scattering you with their gossip. They end up discouraging you. When such men come, tell them, don't tell me that. I want you to understand it. Every man, everybody that comes around you have his own motive. Some comes with a good motive. Some comes with a negative motive. Your motive determines where, where you will get to. Your motive determines the level you will get to. Your motive determines where grace will land you. When you have a right motive, you get a right source. And Jehovah will give it to you quickly. But when you have a wrong motive, my dear, you will have a challenge on the way. The challenge is this. You will end up not getting it and you end up losing more than what you're supposed to lose even when you get it you get it late than the time you would have gotten it that is when you have a wrong motive the motive of this man we are to marry the king of the the daughter of Saul, the daughter of the king and to get money and to be made wealthy and rich because that was the promise and that is the target of fighting but when david came david came with a good motive he came with a different motive altogether he came with a motive he came with a motive of winning. Look at it here. David came with a motive. He came to, with a motive of fighting to win. Fighting to liberate his people. Fighting to deliver his people. Fighting to serve his generation. To add an insult to his own generation. And to the glory of God. That was the motive of David. David came with different motives. David came to fight to win. To liberate his generation, to liberate his people, to deliver his people from that embarrassment, to save his generation from that generational insult, to end embarrassment once and for all, and to and to and for the name of the Lord to be glorified. That's why David came. 
Why others came for another thing? Others came to win the heart of the king, to marry the daughter. They came to get money. They came to be rich. But David, he came for a different thing. I want you to change your motive today. There are people, when they are following somebody, you follow that person with a wrong motive. God is watching. When you marry somebody, you marry that person with a wrong motive. Jehovah is watching. You get into that relationship with a wrong motive. Jehovah is watching. Your man, you are living with your master with a wrong motive. Jehovah is watching. Your lady, you are living with your madam with a wrong motive. Jehovah is watching. The young sister, elder, younger, the young siblings, you are living with your people with a wrong motive. Jehovah is watching. Dear colleague in the ministry, you are working with a colleague in the ministry with a wrong motive. Jehovah is watching. Hey, your minister, you are working with your bishop, working with your apostle, working with your godfather with a wrong motive to break the church, to break the ministry, to use his members and open your own. Jehovah is watching. You are working with your master, you are serving in business with a wrong motive. Jehovah is watching. What a man sows, he reaps. Wrong motive cannot take you where grace can take you to. Grace cannot lift a man who works with one wrong motive. Grace can only lift a man who works with the right motive. You are holding somebody with charm. You are causing somebody's bitterness. You are causing somebody's bitterness. Bitterness. You are causing somebody's pain. You are causing somebody somebody's uh, distraction in marriage. You are causing enmity in somebody's marriage. Enmity in somebody's job. Enmity in somebody's promotion. You are causing problems to somebody in the ministry, in the office. You are causing somebody sickness. Yet you want God to bless you. It's not possible. You scatter other people's family, other people's favor, other people's connection, other people's promotion. You want God to connect you. It's not possible. Your motive matters a lot. Your motive. David did not come with a motive of marriage. He did not come with a motive, a motive of getting wealth. He came with a motive of liberating his people, delivering his people, serving his generation, ending the insult and to the glory of God. Ma libra escoto libra in the bosha. Libra basundaya calibra in the book. Escoto libra in the ocean. Libra in the ocean. Calibra escoto. When they will come with their own motive, tell them one word. Keep it to yourself. When they will come with their negative words, tell them, don't tell me that. When they will come with their discouragement, tell them, don't tell me that. I guess they told David, can you do that? You are a child. But keep telling them, don't tell me that. You can't stop me. Tell them, don't tell me that. Libra escoto, libra in the bush. Libra in the bush, shaga libra escoto. And those men answered him, This is what will be granted to that man. Hear me and hear me clear. The men's reward on earth is good, but they are not greater than God's reward. Jehovah said that I should let you know. He's coming to settle you. He's coming to liberate you. That vision you have been nursing. Jehovah is coming to manifest it in your life. That dream you have been having. Jehovah is coming to manifest it in your life. That favor you have been asking for. Jehovah is coming to give it to you. That dream you have been asking for. That vision you have been asking for. That project you have been waiting for. Jehovah is coming to give it to you. In the name of Jesus. Ma lebra escoto lebra in the box. Don't base in people's opinion. They ask him a question. Don't you know you are a boy? Can you make it? When they ask you, can you make it? Tell them, yes, I can. When they said you are a boy, tell them, don't tell me that. When they said you can't survive, tell them, don't tell me that. When they tell you, can you carry a child at this age? Tell them, don't ask me that. Tell them that question is not for me. When they will tell you that people hate you, they want to kill you, tell them, don't tell me that. Tell them, keep it to yourself. Tell them, hold your peace. Tell them, I have heard. Tell them, thank you. Tell them, meet you later. Tell them, talk to you later. Tell them, that comment is not for me. David refused to be discouraged. Don't live your life from people's opinion. Bible said, immediately his brothers heard it. And they rebooked immediately. I guess those men kept quiet immediately. They answered him, but they might not finish the question. Do you know that are men? They help you based on what people said. Stop dealing with such people. People that deal with you based on people's opinion. Stop dealing with them. Abandon them. Look for people that deal with you based on what God told them about you. There are people that deal with you based on what people said. If I start talking to her, what will people say? If I start talking to him, what do people say? 
If I start helping him, what will people say? If I start, start helping her, what will people will say? People will discourage you about someone and you followed it. My dear, you don't need such people in your life. You don't need discouragers in your ministry. You don't need discouragers in your life. Because they are no longer in good tune with that person. They want to discourage you not to be in good tune with that person. Watch your back. Some of them are not even, they are not even trying to discourage you because they are not in good tune. But they are trying to discourage you so that they alone will be favored from that man. They alone will be favored from that woman. They don't want to share that favor with you. Do you know there are some colleagues in the ministry? If you tell them to pray for you, they will tell you you don't need prayers. Do you know why? Because they don't want you to be like them. They don't want to have a competitor. They don't want to have somebody who is close to the top where they are. Abandon such men. Because Bible said that David left that group. Those men that was answering him and his father and his brothers rebook him. I guess something. They kept quiet because of the rebooking of his brother. David left them. Leave men who treat you based on people's assumption. Separate from men who treat you based on people's opinion. Separate from men who treat you based on people's opinion. Based on people's decision. Based on them say. People will say. People will talk. For the fact you have a right motive. Clip to that man, woman. Clip to that friend. Clip to that prayer partner. Clip to that encourager. That person they are discouraging you about may be bad to them but good to you. That person may be bad to them because God didn't send that person to them. But if God sent the same man to you, he'll be good to you. He may be bad to others because God didn't send him to those people. But he might be good to you because God sent him to you. David abandoned those men immediately. He graduated from that level. Anytime your relationship will get to, we are men are treating you based on people's opinion, based on people's assumption, based on people's, people's suggestion. Graduate from that level, you have passed that level. You have overgrown that level. That is a sign of telling you, I'm going to the next level. Look at what verse 28 said. And his brothers rebuked him. And he turned and asked them, why should you talk to me that way? What have I done? Why wasting your time on men? Why wasting your time on questions that is not necessary? Why replying a question that you must not reply? They are gossiping you. You want to explain to everybody. You don't need to explain to everybody. All questions are not meant for answer. All comments are not meant for are not meant to answer. There are some words you don't need to answer me. And there are some people you don't need to explain to. Let me tell you something. No matter how you explain to a man who hates you, he has hated you already. No matter how you explain to a man who don't want your sauce, he will never understand you. Stop wasting your time in men that don't understand you. Stop wasting your time on men who are not ready to understand. Stop wasting your time on people who are not ready to understand your future. Stop wasting your time on men who are, who are not ready to move with you. Stop wasting, stop, stop, stop wasting your time on people who don't understand. His brothers rebook him. Don't let your background to keep your back on the ground. They rebook him because he's their younger brother. They rebook him because they know him. Look at the comment they said to him. Who did you leave that ship to? And why are you here? And I have a question to ask. Who is that man who sees you as the last born of the family? They sees you as a little boy, a little girl. They sees you as somebody who cannot read, who cannot write. They sees you as somebody who cannot make it. Who is that in law that don't want to help you? Who is that blood sister that don't want to help you? Who is that blood brother that don't want to help you? Who is that pastor that don't want to help you? Who is that prophet that don't want to help you? They want you to remain the level you are. My dear, go back and tell them, don't tell me that. They keep giving you empty promises. Help me tell them, don't tell me that. They keep promising you in order to keep you the level you are. Help me tell that person, don't tell me that. They keep gossiping in order to disconnect you. Help me tell that person, don't tell me that. Zanana escoto lebra in the lebosha. Libaba in the lebosha galebra escoto. Don't let your background keep your back on the ground. When they will tell you you can't make it, can't you see your brother stand there? Don't tell me that. He refused his background to keep your back on the ground. Don't let your background stop you. Don't let what stop your parents stop you. Don't let what stop others to stop you. Look at what they said here. Who did you leave the sheep to? Which means he's bound to live with the sheep. He's created to live with the sheep. Little did they know that he was only having his training in the midst of the sheep. Waiting for the day of introduction. My dear, help me type it. I have been waiting for my time. 
and you reply it. My time is now. They didn't know that David was waiting for his time. They thought that his destiny is the trendship. Who think that your destiny lies in the keke you are driving for now? Who think that your destiny lies in the taizi you are driving for now? Who think that your destiny lies in being ordinary a marketer in the bank? Who said that your destiny lies in ordinary that level? Who think that your destiny lies in only being an account officer to low people and to lower class? Who think that your level ends only in honorable? Who think that your destiny ends only being a local government chairman? Who think that your destiny ends only selling one one that you cannot be an importer? Who think that your destiny lies in only men who can only dash you one one night a pastor? Who think that your destiny lies in one branch? Who think that your destiny lies in one category? Go back and tell them, I'm only there for a moment. I'm only there for a temper. I'm bouncing back to a greater position. I pray with you. I don't know where men met you yesterday. I don't know where they met you there before yesterday. I don't know where they met you last December. I pray with you. They will never meet you there this December. They will never meet you there this December. You will not tell the same story. You are graduating today out of the midst of the ship to the midst of men. Out of the lower class to a higher class. Out of the average class to a noble class. Malebra Escoto. Indelebo Sharana. Indelebo Escoto. Malebra Indania. Le Baba Intele. They asked him a question. Who did he leave to ship to? That simply means they have degraded him. They have concluded him. Who concluded you? Tell that person, don't tell me that. When they ask him, who did he leave the ship to? I guess David is telling them, don't tell me that. I guess David telling them, that question is not for me. I hear him saying, I don't know what you are talking about. I hear him saying, keep it to yourself. I hear him saying, talk to you later. I hear him saying, I'm coming. I hear him saying, level have changed. Why did I say that he told them, talk to you later? Because he abandoned them and went to another man. That simply means, meet you later. Talk to you later. I don't have your time. Don't tell me that. And David went to another group and asked them the same question. Hear me? Stop wasting your time with people that don't understand your language. Look for men who understands your language. Stop explaining to those that don't, that, that don't love you. Your explanation to them is useless. Because instead of them understanding you, they will, they, will uh, they will misunderstand you the more. And add their own thought and still discuss it when they want to discuss it. Where they want to discuss it, sorry. Stop wasting your time. Stop speaking with men that don't, that don't speak the same language with you. Leave them. Everybody must not be your friend. We all can be colleagues in the ministry. My dear, but everybody must not be your friend. We can be colleagues. We can be friends. But everybody must not be your intimate friend. No matter how they struggle to be intimate. 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 My dear, watch well and look well. Choose men that understands your language. I didn't say choose, choose rich men. There are people, they are not rich, but yet they understand you well. Whatever you say, they know it. When you want to fall, they encourage you. Stop dealing with men that want your failure. Stop favoring those that want you to end today. Because if you favor them and equip them, they will use it and fortify themselves and still pull you down. Helping a man who wants your failure, you are fortifying him to stop you. Helping a man who wants you to die, my dear, sometimes you are equipping them to get the, you are you are enforcing them to bring you down. You can't please a man who God did, could not please. You can't please a man who God abandoned because of unsatisfying spirit. You can't please that person. Stop buying a favor in the hand of man that is no that, that don't talk about you. No matter what you do, you can't get it. Choose men who understands your language. Stop dealing with men that don't know what you are talking about. Let me tell you this. Stop dealing with men who call power powder. Those that cause power powder, stop dealing with them. Those that cause grace a charm, stop dealing with them. Those that call blessings, rituals, 
Stop dealing with them. Take that word again. Do you see those men that don't understand your language? They don't feel your pains with you. They don't pray for you. Stop dealing with them. Any man that calls power powder, avoid that man. Stop dealing with men that cause grace each other. Stop dealing with men that cause blessings to reach us. Because, because they can't get grace you have. Because they got their own by your means, they think you got your, your own by your means too. Stop dealing with them. Stop dealing with people that is not ready to help you. My Libra is God. David is said to them, I know, but I'm coming. Who wants to stop you? Who told you you can't make it? Go back and tell that person, keep it to yourself. Who said you will not succeed? Tell that person, I'm coming. Who said you will not make it? Who said you won't succeed? Who said you won't survive? Tell that person, don't tell me that. Who said your mother and father is a failure, therefore you will fail? Tell them that is not for me. Tell them that question is not for me. Tell them that answer is not for me. Tell them, thank you, I have heard. Tell them I'm coming. Tell them I know. Tell them no problem. Tell them I'm different from my parents. Tell them you might be right, but tell them talk to you later. Ask them what do you mean. Ask them are you talking to me? Tell them I don't understand. Tell them see you later. Because they are not your God. And David said to his brothers, talk to you later. He said to his brothers, I'm coming. He said to his brothers, that question is not for me. And he said to them, don't tell me that. He said to them, talk to you later. That was how he met another man. It's time to look for men that will help you. In prayers, in fasting, in destiny. Stop wasting your time on men who are not ready for your good. Stop wasting your time on discouragers. Hear this song with me again. Do you know why I use this song? Because this is a song that qualifies the message. I hear David telling God, I'm the one you have showed mercy. You look beyond me and you give me that. The brothers discourage him, but he told them, don't tell me that. Manana Esco told Meditate, reason. Think about this music for two seconds and we will pray. Male brand the bush. I'm the one. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. You look beyond me. He look beyond me. This is a song of David I gave. And the one you showed mercy in the midst of others. You shed me mess in the midst of others. You look beyond me. I'm the one. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. You look beyond me. I'm the one. You have shown me mercy. He looked beyond us. And he showed us mercy. I want to pray with you now. Zalebra in the level of Shalom. Zalebra is put to Lebra in the level of Shalom. He will be on me. Let's pray. Let the God that showed David the mercy show you mercy. Let the God that favored David favor you. I declare you a liberator to your generation. I declare you a deliverer to your family. Jehovah will use you and end that insult in your family. Jehovah will use you and end that embarrassment in your family. Jehovah will use you to end every insult. Jehovah will use you to end every embarrassment. Your destiny will bring glory to the name of that Lord. You will win that battle others could not win. That victory others did not get to your family will get it. That battle they could not win you will win. That favor they could not gather you will gather. That breakthrough they could not receive you will receive. 
That ministerial breakthrough others did not enjoy in that land, in that city, in that country will enjoy. That job others could not get in your family will get it. That favor others could not receive, you will receive. That level of education others did not acquire, you will acquire it. That kind of car others you are not opportunity to drive, you will drive it. That sickness that killed others will not kill you. That failure that stopped others will not stop you. The evil man will not stop you. Evil woman will not stop you. Words of men will not stop you. Their prayers will not, negative prayers will not stop you. Greater grace will speak for you. Gossip of men will not stop you. Their backbiting will not stop you. Your background will not keep your back on the ground. We are all that throw you will succeed. We are the cry you will laugh. We are the couldn't make it, you will make it. I declare favor to follow you. I declare grace so that could not gather. I declare kind of marriage others did not enjoy your family. I declare favor that others did not enjoy your family. I declare breakthrough that others could not receive. I declare miracles. That prayer that could not stop that evil man, your own prayers will stop that person. He stop others, he will not stop you. Rather, your grace will stop them. I declare greater grace. I declare a good motive. I declare a positive motive. May grace take you to your motive. May grace take you to where you want to be. May grace take you to where you want to go. Escoto anana idan. Li baba sundele ma libra escoto. Indela bo shanana libra idan. Li baba sundele ma libra escoto. Li baba sundele ma libra escoto libra idan ania. Li baba inda ya kalibra escoto. I pray for you. You will not end as they wish. Their words cannot stop you. Their discouragement will not stop you. Their negative prayers will not stop you. Their gossip will not stop you. Their scandals will not stop you. In the name of Jesus, they fought your mother. They will never fight you. What stop your parents will not stop you. What fought others will not fight you. As the months end today, let your battles end. Let your challenges end. Let the sickness end. Let the setback end. In the name of Jesus, that contrast you have been looking for. Did they say you can't handle it? Receive grace to get the contract and grace to handle it. In the name of Jesus. Who said you can't be a lecturer? Who said you can't have a good job? Who said you can't drive a car? Who said you can't pray? Who said you can't run a ministry? Who said you will not grow? Who said you will not marry? Who said you can't have a child? Tell them, don't tell me that. I'm getting it now. Libra Escoto. In the Lebo Shanana. In the Nana Libra. In the Lebo Shanana. May grace speak for you. May favor speak for you. I declare testimony in your family, in your life. Congratulations for success. You are blessed beyond your measure. You are blessed beyond your measure. Congratulations. You are born to succeed. You are born to make it. Powers will not stop you. Enchantment will not stop you. What stop others will not stop you. What kill others will not kill you. When you hear a strange voice, tell that voice, don't tell me that. Father, thank you for blessing us. Thank you for this message. Thank you for this word. Be magnified for this opportunity being of being in your presence. In Jesus' name I pray with you. Amen and amen. I remain your sister, Oluchi Precious. Reverend Oluchi Precious. Kano by name. If you um, that is my Facebook name. In case you watch us from our ministry world or our Martin of Change world, our Martin of Change world or from YouTube, and you want to join us live in this message, log in to Evangelist Ology Precious Canon. That is where I preach every Monday morning by 7.30. God bless you. Meet you again by this time of Monday. Happy New Week. Happy New Month in advance. Don't tell me that. <laughs>